Damascus is bobbing for apples. Is that good, buddy? Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Good morning. Hey there, YouTube friends. How are you today? Thanks for joining. Today's September 1st. Summer's winding down here at Stagecoach Farm and Forge. It's been a very busy yet productive summer. I've been working on a bunch of pre-orders and I am almost done with this last round of pre-orders. So today I'm gonna take you through the shop with me and show you what's going on. We're gonna be working on a couple walks, assembling the walks and starting to assemble some of the remaining pieces of utensils. So. If you like these videos and you want to see more, it would help a ton if you do the thumbs up thing down there, follow us, all that good stuff, share it. That would help immensely and we super appreciate all of you guys. Whether you're blacksmiths just wanting to get into the trade or whether you are customers who are interested in the cookware, I appreciate everyone. So let's jump into it. So here's a pile of roasting pans with copper handles that I just finished up. Here's all the parts and pieces to the rest of the cookware pieces that I need to assemble. They've already been forged and most of the way fit. These ones still need to be twisted and shaped. Got some tongs and some spatulas and a couple different types of skillet handles over there. So here's where I store skillet blanks. The locks are made out of 14 gauge and they have the largest disc. So I'm going to set up the tooling on the press here and we're going to press out a couple locks. So I've got it all formed up into a big round disc dome. And now I'm gonna put the flat spot in the bottom. So there's two walks fresh off the press. One of them even has a lid. This one's gonna feature a lid. And they look pretty good at this point, but the next step is hammer time. And the other pan I'm working on is this nine inch. You can see it's fresh out of the press. It's got the crinkles in the wrinkles, and that all gets hand hammered out in my little swage block here. So let's get to it. inch is ready to stamp a maker's mark in it. It's all shaped out and smooth on the sides. Next, I'm going to flatten out the bottom of the wok right here. step is jump on the fly press and put my maker's mark right there in the center. You can see the walk is 15 inches wide so it barely squeezes in the press. 
but it gets in there. Well, unfortunately, if you notice on that last shot, my maker's mark did not stamp on the bottom. I tried to stamp it again, still didn't work. And then I realized that my bottom die was off. That's what it should look like right there. So what's a guy to do? I got to do it again, cause it's gotta be right. This is for a paying customer. So back to the drawing board on this one. So you can see just when you think things are going smoothly, one wrong move and the whole thing is basically ruined. I mean, it's still a usable pan when I'm done with it, but having the maker's mark be off like that is just not acceptable. So I'm gonna hop back in there and make another one. So luckily after moving my bottom die where it needs to go, the nine inch turned out okay. Luckily I got quite a few of these walk blanks cut out so I don't have to start from scratch with the plasma. So I just got to grind slag off the edge, which reminds me, since the last video, you guys have not seen the brand new grinding room. So here it is. I got both my 2x72s. This is new since the last video, the Ameribraid grinder. And I got all my grinding machines out here. I have an air filtration system built into the wall, as well as another one up above here. So that keeps all the dust out of the main part of the shop and all the grinding back here in the grinding room. So I just threw this together one weekend, all mostly scrap wood, put a new roof on. I got the sandblaster out here. This is a one ton coal storage tank and there's a hopper on the other side right by the coal forge where you can access the coal gravity fed got the air compressor and tool storage over here and that keeps everything consolidated. I can open up that door, turn that fan on and it sucks all the air right out of here, keeps the air fresh. A nice addition to the shop. <laughs> So here over by the 2x72s, I got this air filtration system. It is a large, um, high-powered 8-inch fan. And I basically just built a box around it, and I put these filters in here so that it doesn't clog up the fan. You can see there's the big can fan. And so I turn it on right here on the 2x72. You'd be amazed how well it works. Anytime I'm here grinding, it just sucks all the air right out and filters it, and I can switch those filters out real easily. All repurposed junk I had laying around the shop. So from the outside of the shop, you can see it's just a box. The air goes right out. We just finished. Uh, the exterior of the shop as well. I put rusty tin on this side, board and batten on the back. It's all framed out with some barn wood. And this door can open up all the way so I can get nice fresh air going through the whole room. Success. Round two, good to go. The final flattening, upside down, just a little kiss from the press. There we go. All right, so there's the two walks and the nine inch custom ready for handles to be shaped up and installed.
But it's about lunchtime, so I'm gonna head in and grab a bite to eat, and maybe even wash up my face, since it looks like uh, I've been playing in a coal mine and got punched in the eye. <laughs> This is a pomegranate in Oregon. We are growing pomegranates. So since yesterday was Taco Tuesday, today we're having leftover tacos for lunch. Here at Stagecoach Farm and Forge, we are all about growing our own food. And you can see it's tomato season, very abundant. Most of this stuff will get canned, and we uh, eat whatever is ripe and ready to go. Time to mm -hmm. eat. Is it good? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So Jesse and Lipstick are off to go big city to pick up some copper. Bye bye. Damascus, right? Hey, buddy. He prefers boot leather. This is my boar, Damascus. How you doing, bud? How about an apple? Want an apple? Is that good? Good boy. Privates. Privacy, I guess. Yep. This is our Ram Aries. No, buddy. I don't have any apples for you, bud. So back in the workshop. Time to get back to it. Okay. So now we got to put hammer texture. We got to drill a hole. And then we got to twist that, shape it up, and install this and get one of these guys done today. I won't be finishing them all today. Um, this will bleed into tomorrow as well. And uh, so let's get to it.
time to put a bend on the actual handle part. So now the walk is done and I'm pretty excited because I've never put a lid on a walk. Here's the handle for the lid. I got the lid already pressed up this morning and I'm gonna bust this out and I think that'll probably do it for today, but I'm pretty excited to see what it looks like. Let's get to it. So just test fit in the lid. And as you can see, it is a perfect tight fit all the way around. A little bit too tight, which is how I planned it. So I can sand it down just a little bit and make it seat down on the inside of the skillet. That way any moisture will drop back down into the pan. <laughs> So that's it for today's vlog. If you guys like this kind of thing, you can see my Instagram stories is very similar to this day-to-day -day vlog and I do those daily. Stagecoach Farm and Forge on Instagram. And if you wanna see these products on my website, sign up with our email list and it's the only way you can place an order. Uh, we open up the orders for a short period of time, pre-orders, and they usually sell out in about two days. Uh, we're doing a special discount on utensils for this coming up holiday pre-order. So go to the website stagecoachforge.com and check that out. We will see you on the next one. Have a good day, guys.